x square plus 10x plus 25 factorize teacher did you know how to factorize huh? don't know Hi guys, uh, Liang Jun Mathematics here where we talk about the next part of your factorization which is not moderate but now we go to the third one which is the hard version of factorize and again I have to say hard doesn't mean the difficulty it's about categorizing my factorization methods so that you can easily recognize them okay so when you do your algebraic expression please recognize so just a quick go through easy where you check the numbers and your unknowns and anyhow any of the factorization please 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 check your easy first okay and the next one is how we recognize a moderate factorize is where you get how many terms four terms and the steps will be cut factorize easily for the first two parts copy and paste and then write write to get the answer very easy and okay now so when you come into the hard version right there is actually two types okay type 1 and type 2 so how we recognize type 1 and type 2 let me show you something where this type 2 is slightly not to say slightly it's actually form 4 chapter 1 but form 4 chapter 1 we name it as quadratic functions and equations so when you talk about equations, it means there is equals to a certain answer, okay? But we are not doing that because our syllabus is about expression. So I will do a cheat over here by cheating it to get the answer, okay? But of course, to cheat, right, you need this very uh, important tool. And the very important tool, we name it as the 570 version of calculator, okay? 570. Right, let's say you are using FX350MS, which is the older version of Casio, right? Too bad. Uh, we can't solve equations. Okay, but again, uh, it's actually a cheat. Okay, now type one. Okay, type one, how we recognize first thing we have two terms. Okay, the second one, how we recognize three terms. But the two terms and three terms, there is some very important condition. Uh. Okay, so let me write the condition out. Okay, we have to recognize. Uh, Okay, the first one, how we recognize? Okay, over the two given terms, right? There are what relationship? Number one, we have perfect square elements inside. And number two, we have a negative in the middle. And this thing looks quite familiar when you go back to my expand related questions. Okay, where there is three types one, you can go back to the, to the question and see it. And remember, uh, factorization is about a reverse version of your expanded answer okay so perfect square and negative let me start off with type number one question example number one i'll write 9x square minus let's say a 16y square okay let's see look at this question how many terms you have two terms right okay you have two terms right not so i have to repeat this anyhow please 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 check what first we have to check easy factorize. Okay, so let's check the numbers and the unknowns. Huh? 9 and 16, can you divide with one number? No. Okay, no. X square and Y square, is there any repeated unknowns over the two given terms here? No. So since uh, there is perfect square, what is perfect square? Is where you square root a certain number, it becomes a whole number. Can you see that? It becomes a whole number. Uh, then this is the perfect square. Okay, the 25 is the perfect square. So you see 9, when you square root, you get a 3, right? 16, you square root, you get a 4. X square, you square root, you get a X. Can you see you get something which is not fraction? Okay, so Y square, you square root, you get a Y. So the fast way to handle this is by straight away writing two brackets where we recognize it and we straight away fill up the square root answer. So you put like 3X, 3X, 4y, 4y, and you will put like 1 plus and y minus. Is it okay if you put minus first and then put plus later? Yes. Okay, so just a quick check and see whether I was answer correct or not. 3x and 3x, you get a 9x squared, which is over here. Lah. And after that, suppose you have to get your 3x and multiply the second one. You get minus 12xy. And after you get your minus 12xy, the one which is you have to take this one and multiply two times again, you get a plus 12xy. And then eventually minus 16y squared, which is over here. 
and the middle one it's a minus 12 xy and plus 12 xy which is nothing that's why we can do that fast okay now so let's try out another example lah. okay so example 9x squared minus 36 of course student will say hey, hey i know this i know this your answer will be 3x uh, minus 6 and 3x plus 6 but please again i have to say if they oh, sorry i missed out this very important word they will ask you to factorize it uh, okay so if let's say we're factorizing thing, the first thing you do is look at the 3 and 6 and see whether you can apply easy factorize or not the answer is yes so I will take out the 9 and I left x squared minus 4 inside and now I do the perfect square negative hard factorized version. You see two terms on right? I will get 9 x minus 2 and x plus 2. Okay, so that's how we do it. So the next one, we go into this three terms version. Right? And this three terms version, I'll be using a cheat way where I'll be using this calculator fx570 ms from Casio. But you have to be careful, all this is like 570. Uh, so make sure you get 570, then 350. Okay, it's a cheat way. Okay, it's not a, I say it's not a proper way to, to teach in Form 3. But it's just that I'm using a Form 4 way to cheat it. Now, so what I'm going to show you here is I'll be showing you the hard factorization type number 2. Okay, so this is like the type 2 version. Uh. Okay, the type 2 version, like there is three terms inside and take that one little thing here to help you out in cheating, okay? A cheating way to get your answer. Of course, there is one very important tool that you have to know, okay? Which is your 570 series of calculator. But of course, uh, other brands also can. It's just that I'm using Casio to solve, the, solve this uh, particular cheating way. Uh, so, the three terms is we have to use a very specific thing for your Form 4. It's just that I'll use it over here to help you out. In your form 3, I don't think they specifically mention about this particular form over here, but it helps in cheating. Okay, cheating. So we are using a cheating way instead of the so-called official way from your form 3. Your form 3 say that we have to use trial and error method. Okay, but I'm not using this. Huh? So in case you really need it, what you can do is to PM me. I can show you the complete working on how to get it. But of course, now I'll make it a cheating way. Now, so the cheating way, so first of all, I'll start off with the example. So example number one, okay, we have x squared minus 13x minus 68. Now, so of course you have to know in your form four, there is an equals to zero, but in your form three, there's no. They will say factorize, uh, factorize the following. So if let's say you're gonna factorize this particular question over here, what you have to do is you have to go backwards okay go backwards like in your video number three i show you that from a particular question like this just for example here yeah, okay this is from your video number three yeah? your x plus three and x minus five for example we know that in order to expand okay in order to expand we have to do it like arrow by arrow arrow by arrow so you get your x squared minus five x plus 3x and minus 15 and eventually you get x squared minus 2x and minus 15 okay so that's what you will get in your expanded series but of course what we are doing here it's a reverse okay i said before okay factorization is a reverse of your expand now so what happened now is we are getting this answer which is kind of similar to your expand so what we are trying to do here is to go backwards we factorize this way we expand okay so this way we factorize Okay, so we are doing a factorize, but of course, why do we factorize? Refer to your video number four. Okay, we talk about that factorization concept. Okay, the purpose of factorize. Come back to your x squared minus 13x minus 68. So yes, suppose we are using this, but we are not using this, but we are using a cheat way called the calculator way. First, of course, you have this two bracket, just like this. Cry not just like this. So in order to fit these two things, now, the cheating tool comes in already now so the cheating tool what we do here is we have to press our on of course and now you press your mode three times tuk, tuk, tuk. so equation eqn you press one so you press it so unknown we are not using it so we are using this big button over here we press right and go into degree number two so you press it then a question mark okay so let, let me just go through it very fast with you then you will insert a particular number then you press equal insert another particular number then you equal again then you get C, equal again, then you will get the answer, okay? Now, so I'll just take it aside. Let me show you how to get your A, B, and C. Now, so your A, B, and C go this way. So A, your B, your C, can you can you see I underline it? Where this A, B, C 
it will be the A, B, C that I show you over here, see? A, B, and C. Now, so in order to identify all the A, B, C, let me draw arrows over here and show you where are the A, B, C situated at. Now, so your x squared minus 13x minus 68, right? As you can see, when you check the very important formats, okay, from this form, in your form form, we name it as general form, okay, your quadratic general form, but we are not talking about something that deep, I'll just say this form, okay? So this form, it's a very important tool to what again? To cheat. So in order to get your ABC, now back to this, can you see x square? Okay, is it really there, right? See, your x square. So x squared is lightly circle it. So your x, I lightly circle it. So you notice that in front of your x squared, there is nothing, right? So nothing, what will you name it as? The one. So your b will be your negative 13. I'll just do a curvy line there. And your c is over here. So I just state it out. A, it's one. B, it's negative 13. And your c is negative 68, right? So what I do is to go back to your calculator Okay, go back to your calculator and press it together. So on mode three times, equation press one, big circle right, degree press two, and now insert your A, which is one, your B, which is negative 13, and your C, which is negative 68. You press it, you will get 17, right? But please, 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 don't ever write down your X1 equals 17 down for your teacher in your form 2 okay because this is not the official way it's a way to cheat only so what i do here is i will just write it at the side okay just want to show you like x number one answer is 17 and a eh? do you notice there's an x1 here it means there's another two lah. so you press equal you get x2 equals negative 4 then you write down x equals to negative 4 and once you write down remember this is not what you have to write in your exam so what you need in your exam is the two brackets answer over here so how we get the two bracket is by doing a reverse okay how you do the reverse okay that's how i do it and let me show you using these working now see yeah? x equals 17 get this bracket move it to your left side and place it right behind your x now so let me read again now huh? your 17 is a positive right move it over here you get negative 17. So x, I just put it over here, x minus 17 equals to nothing means you put zero lah. Okay, so same applies here, you move your negative seven over there, you get x plus four equals to zero. And you rewrite, rewrite the answer into the given bracket. So you have x minus 17, and you have your x plus four, and that will be your factorized answer. And be careful please don't write all these things you see all these things over here these are extra extra what's it called workings for me to explain it to you using your cheating tool okay so please don't write all these things don't write it it's just that i'm explaining that's why i put it there so what you need in your exam is this two bracket answer now so now let's go into example number two and example number two, I will give you something like this. x, 4x squared plus 2x minus 20. Yes, you have three terms over here with the specific format. You see x squared with the x without x. If let's say your negative 20 is like somehow at the second term position, right? Please retune it into the correct position. Okay? Now, so of course, we have our standard x squared. I will just lightly circle it lightly circle it and show you so that will be without x over here lah. and we have our a we have our b we have our c over here and i will just state it over here to show you a b and c okay now so after you get this thing right now your a will be four remember the symbol uh, four means positive four but we are not writing the four lah. uh we, we are not writing the positive and we have plus two we have negative 20 and now you take your calculator you take your calculator one two three one two and then your a so you insert your four you insert your two you insert your negative 20 and you get x equals to two right okay so i'll write it over here and show you again so we have our x equals to two equal a can you see that's a decimal we don't want that okay we don't want that so in order to cheat Ah, to cheat so what we do we press shift abc and convert it back into in 
improper fraction. Okay, so once you get an improper fraction, let me show you in detail on how to handle. Okay, so one more time, take the 2, bring it over, you get x minus 2 equals to 0, right? So you know that the first bracket, okay, your first bracket, that's 2 bracket by the way, lah, okay, so your x minus 2 over here. Lah. And of course, you have another one called negative 5 over 2. So what we will do, can we take the whole negative 5 over 2 and bring it over here? Of course, no. We are not writing it in the format. We are not writing it in this format. So what we do is, we will put it this way. We always move the divide over. So we move the divide 2 over. We get a 2x. And the negative in the middle, we just treat it to the top. We just treat it as the negative is on the top. And we will move the minus 5 to the side. We get a plus 5 equals to 0. So we will get what? We will get our 2x plus 5. Then we will get the answer. Okay? Ho, ho. Oh, be extra careful on this example number two. And now we go into our example number three, guys. Example number three. So I want, example number three will be something easier, where it's kind of similar to your PT3 format. So I'll just write it over here. Okay, so I will repeat again. These are not hot question. All the given three examples over here is just a way on how to handle your hard type two factorization. Okay, so now move into our final part where let's go into A, which is kind of obvious over here for you really. So we have 1, we have 10, we have 25. So now you have X, eh? you have X only. So if let's say you have X, so what you do is you will bracket it two times. Okay, you bracket it two times and you know that minus 5 bring it to the other side, you get an X plus 5, right? You will copy and paste it two times. Okay, so you notice that I didn't write all these things because all these things, there are ways for me to explain it to you. That's why you don't have to write all these things. So once you get this thing, and now we have to write one extra step, which is x plus 5 squared. So that will be your answer. Okay, so these are ways, okay, these are ways to hack, okay, to hack your hard factorization type number two, three terms with the cheating form okay and how you type to calculate everything i show you already that's all about it share subscribe make sure you tag your friends okay share around benefit everybody and that's all bye so sorry i forget about this thing okay after you press it into this uh what's it called uh into this equation mode right you press equal it doesn't go back to the correct uh, state of your calculator so what you do is you press shift mode you see shift mode, you see again uh, shift mode. There's three things over here. I prefer to use like number three, uh, two or three is a canon. You tekan your three. Then reset all you press equal. And you press on again, it goes back to the original state. Okay? Ciao.